Many thanks for staying with us on the newsroom. I am Mary Kanu. Some unidentified arsonists have burnt down court three magistrate courts and other buildings housing several offices on the premises of the Secretariat of Idemili local government area in Ogidia town in Anambra state. The hoodlums destroyed files and properties in the Secretariat including the Secretariat building with about 32 utility and operational vehicles burnt during the incident. In another attack close to the local government Secretariat, the office of the Enugu Electricity Distribution Company was also set a blaze. The police public relations officer in the state, Tuchukui Kenga, who confirmed the incidents, said no life was lost in both attacks, revealing that it took the intervention of the police to contain the attacks, first reducing the level of damage that would have occurred. He also added that the command has deployed a team of operatives in the area for heavy surveillance operation and with a view to restoring normalcy. A pregnant woman who was one of the abducted passengers in the Kaduna train attack of March 28 has been released by the terrorists. The pregnant woman, identified as Tamina Mahmoud, was said to have been released in a compassionate spirit on Saturday afternoon after she and 61 others had spent 45 days in captivity. The release of the woman brings to two the total number of hostages that have been released so far by the terrorists, the first being the managing director of the Bank of Agriculture, Alwa Hassan, who allegedly secured his freedom after paying a ransom of 100 million naira. The Academic Staff Union of Universities, the Joint Action Committee of the Non-Academic Staff Union of Education and Associated Institutions and Senior Staff Association of Nigerian Universities, has said the federal government did not reach a strong agreement with them that can lead to calling off the industrial actions. The national leaders of the unions, Emmanuel Osadeke and Mohammed Ibrahim, while speaking to newsmen, said that the federal government and all stakeholders in the education sector had a meeting of the four unions but no strong agreement were reached. And North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un says his country has been thrown into great turmoil after reporting 21 deaths days after the state first admitted it was in the grip of a coronavirus outbreak. The nation's total death toll now stands at 27 with 524,440 illnesses attributed to a rapid spread of fever consistent with COVID since late April. And in business, as part of its ongoing campaign against building collapse, the Lagos State Building Control Agency says it has marked 600 Lagos Island for demolition. A statement signed by the head public affairs of the Building Control Agency, Adetayo Akito Yesagba, said occupants of illegal attachments to buildings in the area had been ordered to quit, revealing that the agency was acting on the mandate to identify and remove distressed and non conforming builders within the metropolis to forestall needless tragedies. And security officials say around 40 people, many of them civilian volunteers of the army, have been killed in jihadist attacks in northern and eastern Burkina Faso. The officials revealed that in the northern region of Sahel on Saturday, around 25 people were killed, including 13 members of the VDP volunteer force, while in the southeast, about 15 civilians were killed when the convoy was attacked while it was under escort. And in sports, newly appointed coach of the Super Eagles, Jose Pissarro, has been handed a one-year short-term contract as he begins his reign as the head coach of Nigeria's senior men's national team. The Portuguese coach was only handed a 12-month deal which is subject to renewal based on performance-related clauses. Pizarro will lead the Eagles in the United States when the team faces Mexico and Ecuador in international friendly games. He will be assisted by ex-Eagles winger Finidi George, Salisa Yusuf and Usman Abdallah. Well, that's all on the newsroom. Do join us again for more updates. Thank you for watching.